Welcome to Agents of Screen, the first and only place for movie reviews live at the cinema. We've just finished watching Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw, spin off movie from the Fast and Furious franchise, starring Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham. First impressions of the film, James, what did you think? Not a bad film. Not a bad film. That's it. Cool. That's that's it? Yeah, yeah. But I'll, I'll, talk, I'll discuss it later. Alright, cool. Not a bad Not a bad film. Alright. Adam? Uh, yeah, not a bad film at all. It was actually a, a good film. I enjoyed it throughout. Ben, what do you think? Uh, Alright, with Fast and Furious, we've, like, it's no longer about cars and street racing. So now it's just about over the top action popcorn flicks. And the studio did deliver on that. Like, I got an action packed popcorn flick. Yeah. Agree, agree. I thought it was a lot better than expected, to be fair. 100%. And thoroughly enjoyed wasn't too over the top obviously yeah, some of it was some of it was like far-fetched no no i thought it was gonna from the trailer i thought this was gonna be wild yeah, like over the top but i yeah. thought it was still moderately grounded in reality ish okay yes good first impressions all around good energy good vibe um what would you say were any standout moments for you what was the first thing that comes to mind so standout moments, I'll say the chemistry between The Rock and Jason Statham. I think it carried a lot of the movie because it's literally like they're two best friends. Like it felt like they were two best friends and they could just rinse each other. They can just like NH. Yeah, I mean, it's just the chemistry. Like they're, what more can I say? Like the chemistry and the action sequences I thought were great. Adam? To build on what Ben said about the chemistry, I actually thought The Rock and Shaw's sister, their chemistry at the start was really strong. Yeah. I was really disappointed with their kiss at the end. It was so weak. It was poor. Because it's still the deal. But it was well, still, still the deal. deal yeah, but man, man's going for that little peck when he's already had had her legs around his neck twice. He said in the film, talking about dreams coming true. Next thing you know, he's got that lock around his neck. I was like, wow, they really do come true. But in terms of standout, I think um, Idris. Idris was brilliant. I really enjoyed his character. He was just, he was, he was the black Superman. He was just so suave, so cool, like he always is. He, he was, yeah, man, he was good. He was solid. NH. Before I get to you, James, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, before I forget, I think there was a couple standout points for me. One was the surprises in the film. I had no idea Ryan Reynolds was in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, what the hell? And then Kevin Hart on the plane. Man, why is Kevin Hart getting two haircuts? Kevin that was he sick. Two, he had two different hairstyles in this film. <laughs> that was sick. I was just like, wait. I just thought that was a... It, it was a cool surprise. So I wasn't expecting it at yeah. all. Spe speaking of Kevin Hart quickly. So obviously the bad guy, Brixton. You know, some superhuman, whatever it is. But every, there's someone behind the scenes. We don't get to see them. It's just the voice. I don't know if anyone's got any ideas who that might be from previous films. A part of me was hoping it was going to be Kevin Hart. We need Daryl. Ryan Reynolds sounds fast and curious now. At, at the end? I thought it was Ryan Reynolds because it sounded a bit like his voice when they were... Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> you know what? It was like distorted and turning into like a human voice. It sounded a little bit like Ryan Reynolds, to be honest. So I thought maybe it might be him, but I don't know. The only reason I say it can't be him, don't know who it was he was fighting when they yeah. showed that in, in the corridor and who he was murking. They were obviously trying to get... He went to retrieve the, no, no the virus. No one yeah, yeah. But it's someone who knows Hobbs from before. Yeah. So, don't know, it could be know, anyone really, isn't it? it? I would be upset if it was Ryan Reynolds, because I think it would not ruin the tone, because it is like a comedy action film, but that would just make it dumb comedy, you know, that slapstick comedy. I would, that would be a yeah. bad, bad reveal. I, I, I agree with you, but if it's not Ryan Reynolds, then those end credit scenes are just pointless. Yeah, they were, they were the worst they end were, credit scenes. Yeah. I can't believe we waited to watch those, they were trash. You know we learned, so. we learned nothing. Just I thought we were going to get a reveal, we got nothing. James? <laughs> your standout uh moment. yeah so a few things so i was quite interested to see how they would do like the meta human thing um so it looked it was somewhat believable obviously with like exoskeleton uh on his spine and then that was mad yeah that was that scene when you finally saw like what they were doing every single time enhancing his ske skeleton all the time that was that was sick reminds me a lot of um Grey Fox from Metal Gear Solid because they put their exoskeleton on him. Rough, sick character as well. Yeah, so that was sick. Obviously, he had Meta Human Rock doing his thing, surviving, building fallings, like falling onto cars, like for no reason. 
Like, yeah, like he had his Captain America scene, like pulling the helicopter. I was just like, really, bro? I think Rock really enjoyed that Samoa scene, like, way too much, bro. He had way too much with that scene, bro. It was sick. It was sick. It was a good fight. It was good. It was definitely uh, the action in the film. Probably one of the standout things about the film, to be fair. The yeah. comedy was good as well. I don't think it was yeah, over. Subtle. Yeah, and it felt very natural. Um, all right, so let's get to some of the stuff we didn't like about the film. Um, to be fair, just to preface this, yeah, yeah, yeah. like as I said, I, I enjoyed the film throughout. I never, there wasn't any point where I thought, oh, why is this happening or this is dragging out or whatever. But there are a couple nitpicks I have. A couple nitpicks, Ben. Opposite of what Adam was saying about Idris Elba, he had a good performance, but why have they put a super soldier, like super soldier serum in Fast and Furious? I'm sorry, out of all the villains we've had in Fast and Furious, I know he's not a super soldier, but it's basically it, like a Captain America super soldier, yeah. It was a dumb villain, but, what? and the pacing I thought was off, because there were points where I was like, all right, wait, wait, wait. I just want to, uh, I just want some action and last but not least this is Fast and Furious so I don't walk into this expecting a sick uh, sick story a sick villain I just expect Fast and Furious action so like you don't go into a romance film and say oh yeah why is there no action you don't go into a comedy film and say ah oh, why is there no drama I'm going into a Fast and Furious film expecting action and I've got action so they're nitpicks but they're still negatives so why was uh, Idris Elba a dumb villain? <laughs> Mate, from a franchise that's come from street racing, obviously it's not about street racing no more. Obviously. But, I'm sorry, he is a dumb villain. Wow. Can you can you, can you clarify? Because I, I don't think saying he's a dumb villain really explains. He's not even a villain. He's a pawn of the villain, technically. He's there to retrieve this, this uh, disease or this uh, whatever it is. I mean, when he gets it, what? Like, I don't know, he was whack. Jesus Christ. The, the performance wasn't, but the character, I didn't oh, I really, really like. I really disagree. Why was he whack? You're not really giving the examples. Uh, the guy's a super soldier, yeah. He's got the, the sickest bike known to man. No, RT. 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 I'm not gonna. Right, Make May Transformers look like some toy told me, bro. Who's got a better Mad. bike? Who's got a better bike, though? Idris or Canada? That's how you do Transformers, just saying, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you can't. That's it, Hasbro. But no, I, I, I feel like you haven't really got. Uh, no, I, like, just, I just feel like he's a super soldier. He's supposed to do super soldier things. Which he did. He failed. Literally, he never succeeded once. He, like, he never succeeded once in getting his mission done. To be fair, to be fair Ben, you got a point there. He didn't succeed he once. Never and, he's a, and he's a super soldier. But that doesn't automatically yeah, make you... Beings. But this, this is why I disagree so much saying that he was a, a whack character. So James said it, said the film was believable. And it's true. I was coming into this film expecting it to be so over the top, oh, so crazy, good. so wild. I'm thinking, oh, this is just stupid. But it's not. They kept it controlled. They reined it in. And even with Idris making him a, a super villain, if you like, he still had his flaws. He was still vulnerable. He wasn't super beyond doubt where he could just murk everyone. That's why, that's why it was so good. He was still vulnerable. He could still uh, be beat. Uh, he was a good character. Yeah, yeah. You're coming from, but I think at the end of the day, the only limitation is the person who's actually using the technology. And if they don't know how to use the technology properly, they're doomed to fail in the first place. My main issue. My main issue with this film is there was a massive, like, I, okay, I was, people may say it's not a plot hole, but the virus itself was a plot hole near the end. After they finished ch chasing everyone, yeah, they had 24 hours left before the virus was going to explode. You're going to tell me they went to Samoa, they dug out all that shit, ready for a fight, and it was 24 hours, like, not gone whatsoever. On top of that, on top of that, yeah, she, like, there was explosions going off where she literally like ran down. She dropped out of a helicopter plane. The machine that never machine broke down. Never... The truck, and not the top of that yet. And the only reason why I mention that is because just by a bump on the truck, machine broke up. It bounced about six times. Yeah, so about, yeah but, but, so but I can tell you, I can tell you, go on, please go on. Bruv, bruv, 
Arty. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, they look at the look at their clients. Look at their clients. They were getting from Japan, UK. All them mods, all them cars, bikes. Yeah, you think man doesn't know how to reinforce a little box? Come on, man. I swear he put some new chrome cylinder on the thing as well, bro. It looks sick. A couple little nitpicks I had. Um, we were saying obviously I feel like the film is a bit more grounded than some of the Fast and Furious films. You know, they take liberties with certain things. There were a couple bits where I was like, rah. Um, but like, yeah, like when he held the helicopter, even though it was only for about three seconds, because I'm thinking, right. Doesn't matter how long it was. Yeah, that was mad. Flying with it. Yeah, that was mad. That was mad. Um, there was another bit. Connecting just by like driving near it isn't dumb. The accuracy of that was mad. And then, what do you mean? They didn't, they, they didn't just connect. They they hooked it. They nah, scooped they it. They it. But the connection was. They did it slick. They were just like uh, yeah. bang. What are you talking about? Samoan tech. I thought it was Samoan tech. Yeah, Wait, it's not tech. Wait, this is. We're not accepting this Samoan tech yeah, business. I'm, I'm we're not accepting. There's no Samoan tech. No, I'm saying, but he reinforced the kit. But anyway, and I, one thing as well, I'll say that's good that it was less. Obvious CGI in this than there was, I think, in the last couple. Yeah, I don't think, FFs. It, was, I don't think it was beta. Or no, no, mostly positive. But one question that we still didn't get didn't get answered in um, Fast and Furious Eight. They didn't really answer it in this, so I'm guessing for the sequel. But Hobbs or Shaw, who we got? Well, With these two are actually gonna throw down, oh. have a fight. Oh. Who we got? Oh. That's a, that's a different question. Ah, if they're gonna fight, yeah, that's a different question, man. I mean, sure, I'm pretty sure has much more stamina and he's got more speed, he's more agile. But Hobnobs NH, if he grabs him, it's over. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna go for that great American muscle NH. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you're asking me who I got, my team, I'm team Shaw, sure, Statham. But if they're throwing it down, the, the, knobs, the, 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 the rock's got him. There's no ying ying ying. He's done for. Come on, he's done for. Yeah. Just gotta grab him once and that's it. Possibly. The only reason why I'm saying Hobbs is because we haven't seen Statham show any metahuman capabilities and Rock oh, has. Yeah. On what? On what? what is, hey, am I lying? Am I lying though? No, I'm sorry. He's literally. He might as well just be indestructible. But he. he whoa, curling people for fun in the cars that will snap off your arm and carry helicopters. Bro, I, I'm sorry, man. Hobbs crushing him, man. It's a, it's a wrap. Uh, I don't know about, it is, it is. I don't know about crushing. The only reason I say that is because if you look at the the fighting, yeah, and the, obviously the capability, the size, whatever, whatever. But look at the, the scene where they um they go through the two red doors, yeah. That and obviously Hobbs has got the the freaking seven foot giant, whatever. And Shaw's got like seven man. He matched all of them clean, yeah, clean. It was, it was clean. So I, it would be an interesting fight. It would be an interesting fight. So I'm kind of curious as to see where the scores are going to be. So I think we should get into that. Oh, James, you had some controversial opening scores. So that's that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing the, on the on the on the AOS chat that you got some controversial scores. So what are you giving? Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. I think I'll give this a 7.5. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's, it is. I, I was quite surprised by this film. I was expected to be a bit shit, but it wasn't. It was actually very good. Um, like they 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 didn't suspend they didn't suspend belief. Like they they actually made it realistic in terms of like technology and everything. Uh, fight scenes were very well done. I actually really liked a lot of the the fights. Um, the story wasn't too bad. Some things were like, eh. but overall. Yeah, not a bad action film. Fair, fair. Seven point five. Okay, okay. Uh, ooh, Ben, what are you saying? Okay. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Big film, like big spectacle. I'm gonna say. Characters kept like Hobbs and Shaw. Great chemistry. At uh, set pieces, like the action set pieces, great. The pacing was a bit off that time, so I did feel, oh, is it over? Like, you know, in the bit after the, the um, when they took the machine, mm -hmm. I thought it was over. I can't even lie. I was like, ah, is it done? But it carried on. So, you know, I, I, the, the second act was a bit off at points, but it's a Fast and Furious film. So I didn't come in for the story. I came in for the action and the characters, and I got just that. So I'm going to give this film 7 out of 10. 
First score. First score. Mm. Adam. Yeah. What are you saying? So I'm one of those people that thought this film was gonna be super trash, Party. super cheesy, Party. waste of my time. <laughs> but I enjoyed this film throughout. It was really good. Not over the top hyped. It was believable. I think. Do you know what? I, yeah, man. I, just, I really enjoyed the film. I did enjoy the film a lot. However, there's always a however. When they got to Samoa, and you got The Rock all in his like little skirt or whatever it is, and he's got his club. <laughs> I thought, okay, he's a little bit silly now, and then he's then he's pulling a helicopter, and then one minute he's running in a skirt, then next scene he's, he's got, got Chino's he's got Chino's that. boots and he's putting on his t-shirt. All right, that that bit did kind of took it took it away from me a little bit. I was enjoying it before that, but yeah, say, say saying that though, I did like the film. I did enjoy it. I would recommend people to see it. I give it a seven point five. Let's go. Fair, fair. Um, yeah, echoing what you said basically. I was expecting a cheese fest, very corny action film. Didn't think it was going to work at all. Um, Hobbs and Shaw, the character, the, the, the dynamic is just is sick. Excellent action sequences, set pieces. Helen Mirren was good. I liked her character from before as well. Shout out to Helen Mirren. She was good in the last one, yeah. I liked her. I liked her character. Um, yeah, some bits are like little nitpicks with some of the things they were doing. It took it slightly into the realm of, okay, that is just a stretch. Ridiculous. You can never, you can't do that. Yeah, enjoyable. The story was cool as well. I thought the story was, it just worked. It was all right. So with that said, I'm going to give this 7.5. 7.5. A very enjoyable film. I would 100% recommend watching it. So with that said, average score should be up up here somewhere on the screen so yeah that is our review for fast and furious presents hobbs and shaw what did you think of the film are you team hobbs are you team shaw who would win in a fight are you team sister what's the sister's name can you tell us what the sister's name is please because i don't remember it's definitely not esmeralda are you team brixton furthermore you might want to be a you know these new age humans um Leave a like for the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We've been Agents of Screen. Peace.